What's up guys, Ballistic here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be making the tutorial on how to use the G-Skill software for your G-Skill mouse, uh, the MX780 mouse. i will teach you how to program lights, make profiles for your different games and stuff like that. So, let's get into it. So these, I don't, I wouldn't mess around with too much, this is more for like keyboard stuff. So right over here you're going to be making, uh, making different profiles name it whatever you like and if you're gonna make a game or uh, link it to a game or something just click link game I'm gonna have to find BF4 again uh, steam up steam no steam games and BF4 there we go takes a while to load okay and we got that and right here you're gonna want to set like you want to switch, you're going to want to set one switch to profile switch and this is only one option so you're going to click on that and save I'm not going to do that and here you're going to, if you, once you have multiple profiles it allows you to cre create a thing, an order so you can switch from them using this button we assigned over here so once you do that you can, you can I guess do whatever macros you want on your game GTA 5 I haven't done anything and as you can see the color has changed this is all yellow and this guy is per pink uh, once I click this button again this guy turns into green, purple, pink, yellow and then this guy's orange and then you click it again this is my BF4 one red, red, yellow, blue and back to my regular this is GTA one and it is my regular desktop using one and now once you get all your profiles set up and, and you link the programs you want and make sure to save to device memory so it remembers it and even if you don't have the driver software or anything or put it in a laptop or something with you it will keep this profile settings as it is okay so once you're going to go in settings you don't want to mess around with too much unless you want to mess with DPI and stuff like that which I will not be doing and and we go back to the lighting. You can either do effect lighting or background lighting. Back background is more static, while well, this one's more dynamic. It just changes everything. But I prefer having still lights. And make sure to sync with with the system. So when you turn it off or sleep, it the mouse goes goes to sleep instead of stays out on. And once you set all the colors and the brightnesses and all that jazz. Uh, you could do this for each every single one of them like I have right here I'm gonna go back to my desktop profile and once you do that you click save to device memory and that's about it it took them a while to figure this out because the I don't know the program kind of glitched out it, I think it might have improved and it just took me a while to figure it out and hopefully it helps you because I haven't seen much tutorials on this type of subject so rate, comment and see you in the next video make sure to subscribe and I will be back so shortly or soon